This may be one of the uh, weirdest circumstances behind a recording I've had in quite a while. So, um, before I go into anything, first let me cut back to something that happened in my recording test, because it's important. Cockle. Uh, game? Alright then. So yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, I guess let's go see him and see what move we're gonna get. But, um, that recording test was also noteworthy in its own way because I just recorded Pokemon yesterday and it was fine. And today, I go to open my program and the record button is just grayed out for some reason. So I have to, like, dick around with the settings and find the, uh... Okay, where the hell actually is he? I should probably restate that I wasn't entirely paying attention when that cutscene played, and it's been a few minutes now, so I, like, remember him being near some toxic waste, and that's about it. But anyway, um, the recording button was grayed out, and I had to find out in the settings how to, like, reactivate it. Somehow it just, like, a setting got changed that turned off the ability to record. I don't know why that's even an option. Um, and it also changed the folder that it saves to. Luckily, it didn't seem to change any other settings. At least, I hope it didn't. It looked okay. But anyway, uh... For once, I'm actually recording this a day earlier. I usually do it the day of, and, um... The reason for that is because of just weird scheduling issues that have been coming up. There was more of those yesterday also. And I'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's, uh... Yes? Yes? Okay. Oh. Wait, I, I, I looked at the sign, and it point... What was the point of that? It was really weird. Is Trouser over here? Because there, there was a point where... Yeah, there he is. Okay. So I guess I could go to World 5, but I just don't want to yet. Excellent. LT, press X. Okay. So, how does this work? Because I am not expecting free flight. That would be a bit broken. Oh god, is it? I mean, it uses stamina, but still. Wow, okay. And it causes the camera to glitch the shit out, apparently. Um, That's highly surprising. Like, all right. See, I was just kind of expecting it to not, to be like, how do I want to say this? Um, no, I didn't want to activate it there. How do I go invisible again? I'm like never remembering all these button combos. But, uh, I was expecting it to just kind of be like a better version of a backflip almost. And then like maybe a glide attached to it. But yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty good to have. I'll definitely have to not forget that I have it. Anyway, let's go back in the stage. Um, guess that was a nice little diversion. So anyway, uh... Not sure how much detail I need to give into this explanation, because it's really not even all that interesting at all but it's different for me because I usually don't ever have anything going on. But, um, yesterday, well, okay, I guess this starts on last Friday, technically. Um, I was at work, and if you'll remember from my previous work stories, um, there's that one person that basically sucks at doing everything and has no idea how to exist. Um, that's Tamika. Um, I did not use her real name at first, and then decided there was no reason not to. 
Um, also, there's some quills over in that section. I'll go visit that at some other point. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but yeah, she was going around telling everybody that apparently if you go to Applebee's, they have 50 cent margaritas all day. And I don't care because I don't drink, but she tells me anyway. And I'm like, okay. And then she just kind of goes away. And, um, hold on, let's see what's going on here. Special playing card. Okay, well, I should have that. But anyway, so, um, apparently there were some people who wanted in, and so there was, like, this, uh, group decision among the... I don't know what to call it. She's, like, not the main manager, but, like, one of the backup ones, basically, because there's, like, three or four managers. Um, she and, like, a few other people were gonna go to... Okay, how do I freaking... There we go. Too many button combinations. Um, they were all gonna go out after work, and uh, Martin and I were invited along, and we're like, okay, I mean, we'll at least grab some dinner or something, that's fine, and hang out. Um, and we don't actually get out of work until about 1.15, because on Friday the Pizza Hut closes at 12, and that basically means that that's when you finally get to stop... That, that was fun, I liked that. Um, that's when you get to finally stop taking and making orders, and you can, like, try to wrap stuff up. You still have to clean the whole place, like, do all the dishes, mop the floors, and all that shit, so it takes a long time. So we finally get out of there, and we're not even sure if they're still going to be open. Um, so, we get over there. Um, it was like a 10-15 minute drive, I forget how long exactly. And, um, the Applebee's is frickin', like, I've only been there, like, once or twice, and I just, I always kind of remember it as being very Chili's-esque, just kind of like a generic, like, family-friendly restaurant that isn't particularly notable in any way. Um, but the place is basically like a bar. It's, like, extremely loud and an obnoxious, and there's a bunch of drunk people, and there's people outside that are, like, fighting. And it was just generally not a good atmosphere. And so uh, we go inside, and apparently they uh, st were not going to be serving anymore because they were closing down the kitchen and stuff because they were done at, like, 2 o'clock. So it's like, okay, so what are we going to do now? So we just kind of went to an IHOP, and that was the night. So um, apparently they still wanted to go to Applebee's at some point, though. So yesterday, which was Monday... Um, we actually did go out again to the Applebee's, and it involved about an hour and a half of waiting, because, like, I got off at, uh, 8.30, and I managed to get out of work at the time that I was supposed to, which is very unusual, because they always make you stay super late, but, um, I managed to get out at 8.30, and I, I, I brought, like, an extra shirt to work so I wouldn't wear my stupid Pizza Hut shirt to the restaurant. Um, but uh, there was another guy that was wanting to come with who was one of the drivers, and he was unable to get away. They kept making him do deliveries, so he got there like an hour and a half late, and we were all wait we basically had to keep waiting for him. And so he finally gets there. And I, I should probably like actually read the game text. Okay. I suppose that works. But yeah, he finally gets there. Um, we have our food and stuff. It's fairly normal. And um, the plan originally was uh, after having like had our dinner and stuff, uh, Allie, the manager, was actually gonna like come over to our place and we would like do some video game stuff and possibly stream it. I'm not sure if we were going to or not. And um. So that's why when I did yesterday's video, I had to, like, do it in an extremely inconvenient time because I had to basically, like, prepare to clean the house and shit before that. Um, 
So, because the one guy was so late, we didn't get out of the Applebee's until like 11.15. And, hold on a minute, I have to pay attention to the game again. No? Okay, never mind then. Alright, so what's this now? Yeah, we didn't get out until 11.15. And so, the guy who was late, at, suddenly at the end of the... Like, when we're about to leave, he decides that he really wants us to go to this weird, shady, like, firework place. Like, I don't know what the hell you call it. it it's like... It wasn't, it wasn't like an illegal place, but it was kind of questionable. It was being run out of like this weird trailer thing. Um, and so like apparently it closes at um, 11.30 and it's like almost time for them to close. So we're all pack into Martin's tiny ass car and we're trying to get to this stupid place and get there at 11.30. And then they just kind of buy a shit ton of fireworks. And they're like, well, we want to go blow shit up. Are you coming with? And we're like, N no. Like, <laughs> is that just what's happening now? And, and so, like, apparently they did. I I've seen video evidence of this. They apparently just set off a bunch of fireworks near a lake somewhere. I don't know if they actually blew anything up, but they blew up the air, I, I don't know, but, so that kind of threw off the plans a bit, but, um, what I'm eventually getting to is I'm recording this now because, uh, she's actually supposed to come over tomorrow now, we'll see if that's actually going to happen, and, um, meanwhile, Joel's in the kitchen making a fucking Nin toaster, and it's just, it's just been generally a good day, like, I, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Just weird shit all over the place. Am I supposed to remember the password? Because I don't. So, Red Ghost, Snowman, and, uh... Rextra, I guess. I was trying... I was like, Dinosaur, because I don't know his name. I don't know. But, uh, and then I went home and ate chicken nuggets. That's the important part of the story. Okay, so no, it's not that... Where am I supposed to get the code? Also, what is this place? Oh, here's the code. Okay, uh, quack, red ghost, green ghost, yellow ghost. Quack, red, green, yellow. Like I said, the story never really went anywhere, as do most of my stories. It's just, it, it's unusual for me to be, like, hanging out with people and doing stupid shit, because usually I'm either always at home, or I'm at work and then at home, and that's about it. And I just like the idea of, like, my manager buying a shit ton of fireworks and blowing stuff up. I don't know. Alright, so, green, red, quack, purple, rex. I don't know if I'll remember that. Green, red, quack, purple, rex. Damn it. immediately dislike it. Okay. Green, red, purple. I want to find out what's up with that pinball machine looking thing earlier. That looked kind of funky. Okay, red, green, blue. Wow, I just had a moment there. Like, despite having been aiming normally up until this point, I was, like, trying to do, like, Wii U-style gyroscopic aiming with this controller, which, uh, is most certainly not a thing. I don't know why I was thinking that. Good physics.
So anyway, now that I've uh, gotten that useless story out of my system, I'm sure you can rest assured that the rest of this video will be completely boring and, un and uh, not noteworthy in any way whatsoever. So it's got that going for it. And then it turns out that it's not even recording. To make sure that it actually is now. It does appear to be. Okay, so Rex, purple, red, blue, yellow. Rex, purple, red, blue, yellow. Like, these aren't difficult. It's just slightly obnoxious because I'm usually extremely bad at short-term memory. Just gotta make sure I'm not missing any stuff. But yeah, so far I am still enjoying this level, though. I like the atmosphere of it. Nope. I didn't even see that quill until it was too late. However, I apparently have something to uh, remedy this problem, because I can just infinitely fly now. I still find that weird. Like, if it required a flight pad or something like in Banjo, that would even be more acceptable, because then they could kind of control when you use it. But uh, I guess this means they had to create the whole game with uh, this in mind, that you could just go wherever you want. Although you can't unlock it until the end of the game. And yes, I did see those quills down there, don't worry. Why is this up here? Am I even meant to get up here without the flight? I don't know. Okay, um... Yeah, let me look at that slot machine again, now that I'm not distracted by whatever the hell it was I was talking about. Can I, like, shoot? Oh, these are... Wow, okay, I forgot. I can interact with these things. Can't I? Why am I not... Okay. Like, can't I grab these? I think I did that before. With the camera zooming out like this, I... Wait, what? What just happened? Okay. Alright. I, I didn't realize I actually activated it. Because it's like the tongue move wasn't working properly. Now I guess it is, except I've already won it, so... I don't frickin' know. Was that all I had to do with that? Because, um, that didn't take much effort. I either got very lucky, or it was very easy. So what's your deal again? Then why are you here? What do you need? And as with every level in this game, it must just be over one with random eyeballs. Also, I, um, to go even unnecessarily far on the uh, previous story, I should mention that the guy who was late also told two very long and useless stories one when we were eating, and one in the car on the way to the fireworks place. And I have no reason to try to retell these stories, but they went into such elaborate, unnecessary detail that they were kind of amazing. One of them involved, like, finding this really creepy doll, and then freaking this guy out by, like, continuously... Like, every time the guy would throw it away because it was creepy. He'd, like, go and dig it out of the trash and put it somewhere in his room, and it ended with it, like, getting buried in the backyard. And he was tempted to dig it up, but then didn't. Um, the other story was just, like, there, there's not even really anything to say about the story. It just, it kind of went on for, like, ten minutes, and 
the like the summarization was they totally freaked these two guys out once and that was it like there was like there's no other way for me to sell that one it was really pointless all right so what's the deal with this now oh boy it's the uh matching tiles game from every game ever that we love All right, well, I'm not going to do well, so let's try. I... oh god. Was it these two that ma- I was, like, trying to remember so hard, but I'm not good at this. I think these... okay. From this point, I'm pretty much blind. So, let's just uncover stuff and try to remember. Okay. These are both snowmen, right? No. Or was the snowman down here? Yeah. I think the time limit is uh, quite forgiving here, though. Come on, hit the damn thing. Nope. Yeah, that was a pretty forgiving time limit. I think even the... Uh, the like, one from Gobi's Valley was stricter than that, and that one wasn't particularly hard either. That wasn't even as good as the one on the N64. Sorry, I must say that at all times now. I swear there was a quill in the- yeah, there- wow. Like, those things, for some reason, blended in very well there. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't talk to strange refrigerators. At some point, I'm going to have to do, like, a, another sweeping run of this whole stage, because it's fairly open-ended and hard to remember what I've done. Oh, right, these are things I can shoot, right? Does it need to be in a certain order? Okay, maybe I do this. Yeah, that would do it. And, okay. I could have completely bypassed that anyway, but... It doesn't matter. So, random question that I don't... I, I'm asking because I'm looking at them right now, and I don't really care about the answer, but somebody's gonna tell me anyway. I'm pretty sure the point of roulette is just to kind of, like say, like, I bet that it's going to land on this color, or this number, or this specific color and number, and depending on how specific your guess is, if you get it right, you win more. But I'm not sure why there's, like, a green one. Is that, like, if you happen to get that, then you get the best payout? I don't know. Gambling's weird. Alright, well, I guess we'll go this way, because this is a thing that exists. Alright, that was a definitely a thing that existed. There's a fountain, I'll eventually check that out. Hey, look, more roulette wheels. There's, a. Uh, Green ghost. Th th these ghosts do have names, I just don't know them. That was a great noise that it just made. I don't know if there's a way to stun it. I'm guessing there is probably not. Just come back here, you asshole. Can I fall in between these? Yeah, but there's... Okay. Oh, there's multiple ma pachinko machines. How did that unlock a new tonic? 
I thought it, the next one I needed was like if I get all of the ghosts. I don't know. There's uh, quite a number of these broken slot machines, and I'm waiting for there to eventually be a payoff on this. Like, there's gonna be a quest somewhere that involves me to, like, find every one of these and give them, like, a piece of dryer lint or something. Like, I don't think there's anything I can currently do with them, is there? I've already tried pounding on top of them and all that jazz. Oh, wait, there's like a big crack on the side. Uh, here, let me try this. No. I'm just attacking it does nothing, so... Either I need, like, grenades, or it doesn't do anything. I don't think I have any other moves that would be useful for that. And is the game hiding anything stupid down here? Surprisingly, no. It's a very shiny floor. Okay, camera. There's a part of this song that keeps making me think it's going to turn into uh, Simple Songs by Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. It probably isn't even that similar, it just reminds me of it. Because I only know like three songs in the entire world, so that is one that I have heard. Really should try to finish Not Prawn one of these days. Problem is, the last level has no hints at all, and that, yeah, th there's nowhere to go. I will compile a group of, like, 75 people, and we will work on it together, and one of those 75 people will probably just, like, cheat and find the answer on some walkthrough site and then pretend that they found it legit and then I will be like immune from the guilt because I'm not the one that did it. You want to perhaps jump? Also I just realized I went through that pl yeah I, I, I really need to remember that I can just fly. I'm depending on myself to fly. No, not that button combination. Where, where even am I? <laughs> Is this real life? Okay. Can I break this? No. Oh. Okay. You see, I, it looked like it was going to raise up the center platform or something. I didn't... Ex whatever. Is that another frickin'... Why are there so many of these? Pisses me off. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, I totally didn't see him there. We're not gonna, not gonna do anything with that. I should probably actually do something with that. But I don't wanna do it. It's sad. So, so why did I come up here? Oh, right, because there's yet another broken slot machine, and I felt the need that even though the other 17 that I've seen didn't do anything, maybe this one would be different. Okay, 
Okay, so how do I work this? That's how. Oh. Welcome to bonus stage. See, I'm tempted to line up the bananas now because I said that, but I'm guessing that's not the one I want to aim for. Oh, what? You have to hold it down? What the hell is this? What the hell is this crap? Okay, I'll keep jumping on it until it decides to do something. What am I supposed to do? I figured it would, like, stop it in place, because that's usually how slot machines work. This one, apparently not so much. Oh. What? Okay, never mind, I see how this works. Okay, so what I want to do is freeze this one in place until it lines up with the other one. So that's after capital B. There we go, and then do that again with this. And that might be close enough. I don't know if that counts. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yep, there we go. That was kind of interesting, I suppose. Also, that's not how slot machines work. Fairly sure, but uh, we can pretend that it is. If it was how that worked, then there would actually be, like, skill behind them. And you can't have that. Especially if it's in a Pokemon game. And yet people will still bitch when you remove them. Notice how I'm still ignoring Cardos. There might be a reason for that. Hey, look. Look. Look, it's another one of these. We made this broken slot machine, like, asset, and by Jim, we're gonna use it. By Jim. I don't know who Jim is in this scenario, but... Probably some tosser. Alright. What is this now? Oh god. Okay, what? Okay, now I, I never mind, I get it. Camera, please. Okay. This camera is not the greatest I've seen in my days. Also, I don't really have much to say about this. It's, uh... It is a functional thing that exists. To go into another story that isn't really a story and is more just me saying like, hey, this was a thing once. Um, as a bab, I had this like collection of, when I say collection, I mean like six. Um, I, I don't know what you'd call them. They, uh, there were these toys that like, there were, like, these water-filled little cylindrical things that you would push a button and it would, like, shoot a jet of water up to, like, push... Okay, I really need to stop sucking at this. Um, it would push, a, like, a jet of water up and push balls around and you'd had to try to get them into stuff. Um, they were all... They all had, like, different themes. There was one with, like, a crab that used its claw to block the opening. There was, like, a submarine you had to get little divers into and stuff. And, um, this in itself is not an interesting thing worth mentioning. However, there was this, like, one night I couldn't fall asleep, and for some reason I just suddenly remembered those things. And, um, I, like, had not thought about them in years, and... I just kind of, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I now need to see what these things were called. And I spent, like, the next 45 minutes, like, doing random Google searches on my 3DS to try and find what they were called. And, like, 
see if anybody else remembered them. I did find them. I think they're called waterfalls. But yeah, that like I said, it wasn't a story. It didn't go anywhere. It was just... I was vaguely reminded of it because of this game. Also, I liked that non-animation on those tokens that fell out. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna just continue pittering about. Oh god, there's more of these. Are they all gonna be exactly the same as the first? Because I think that's what they're gonna be. Good, I, I did a good bang-up job there. Okay, now this one's different. This one, I assume I just stopped them all individually, yeah. So this one's after the frosty friend. This one's after the Benang. Except I was a bit too slow there. Guess I should probably do the fast one first. There's the Benang. There's the Frosty Friend. And wait, what? Did I hit the first one? I didn't think I did. Okay. how slow this one is. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to remember which ones of these I've completed. Hopefully they, like, keep this displayed on them so I don't have to check them all again. Uh, let's see. Here's a thing I haven't interacted with. And another slot machine. So is this gonna be complete luck again, or... Looks like they're just exploding for some reason. Okay, well, I got two. Do I get another try? What does this do? I'm confused. Does it, like, disable the zappers, maybe? No, no, it does not. But I seem to have enough this time. Okay. I won't question it. And, for, oh, this one's got five. That makes it better. Okay. God. This isn't going to be tedious at all. Oh, and they changed direction, apparently. Whatever. Like I said before, welcome to bonus stage. I don't actually remember what the name of this minigame was in DK64, but it definitely existed and was not fun. Then again, it was a DK64 minigame. There were only like maybe one or two of those that were fun. They were mostly just obnoxious. The one where you're, like, running away from the exploding minecarts was fun, at least in theory, though it was also extremely irritating because the controls didn't always work the way you wanted. And then there's Beaver Bother. No, we're not going to get into Beaver Bother. We, we do not speak of such things. Okay. How long have I been going? Eh, pretty much long enough. Is there any other small thing nearby that I can do? Like this? I don't know what this is. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Go, go in Viz. Oh, I can't go in Viz. I ran out of power quickly now. Yeah, I thought I might be on a timer. Can I disable it? Yeah. Uh, 
That is probably the key. The key is to not get lost on a jet ski. Come on. And there we go. I don't actually know who DJ Khalib is. All I know is that he got lost on a jet ski once. He says the key is something, and that uh, he says you small, you loyal. And I only know those things because of Vinny. How the hell do you get lost on a jet ski? That, that, that's what I'm mainly curious about. Alright, well, I, uh, have gone around a portion of the level and probably missed 50% of the things that I passed, and I have no idea where I am, reg like, in reference to the entrance, so I've got that going for me. And I said I was going to stop, but I'm just not. No, no I don't want to talk to you. I don't have the token. God, he's learning about microtransactions. All right, let's do one more of these because the last five were so fun. I like the one where you had to actually like hold the others in place. That one was somewhat clever. We have not had another one of those. Duck repeatedly. And let's get this done, and timing! Okay, excellent. Let's just stare at this for a few more minutes. This is quality entertainment, folks. Okay, I think I hit that one a little too early, but... Oh, that was for the play coin. Well, I know what we're doing next time. We are going to play this game, which is Hurdle Hijinks, and we're going to be doing the Cardos track, and from what I've heard from other people, the uh, mini games and Cardos tracks in the later levels are absolute ass, so I have that to look forward to. But maybe we'll be able to get them both out in the same video. I don't know. Point is, I'm basically done for now, so let me just stare at a wall, and that'll be it.